from there. I hear, yeah. But he would. There was some reason that he trusted me or wanted me yeah. to hear stuff. Like yeah. he would go in. I saw him pitch companies, do pitches to companies where he kicked out every Apple employee except for me in the room. And I'm sitting there watching Steve pitch, and I'm like, whoa. Okay, that's a salesman. I want you to write a book. <laughs> Is he going to write a book? It's not you the got... guy. It's not the guy that I didn't work with. That no, guy. that's the thing. I work with you. Had a unique guy. perspective yeah. on who this guy was, and admittedly, he was many things. Yeah, many people. He might have been that guy. I don't know, but he never you was had, that were, guy to me. Yeah, that was. That's the point, and I think it would be really interesting to hear from you. Have Have people interviewed you and talked to you? Or? I've told a couple stories but i've never really told the depth of you want to come on and we could it doesn't have to be a book we could do as told to sal Sagoyan as told to triangulation i'd love to hear more steve stories do you have a whole bunch of them yeah so who I, what, I'm who doing, doesn't want to hear more steve stories, i'm doing the right? leopard tech talk tour with john Glency and, and the evangelism crew we're in new york we drop by the apple glass Store, so, uh, you know, the guy, get, the manager here, yeah. sees us that we're there and gives us a tour of the store and everything. Nice. We're coming out of the store, we're walking down Fifth Avenue, and the guy next to me, he's, he's this guy who was in charge of printing, like Mr. Mort Meek, bland guy, very, very nice man, very good, efficient, well-knowing, knowledgeable person, just a, a quiet man. Yeah. And the guy starts elbowing me, and I'm like, what the hell? What? And he's going like this. And I turn to my left, and it's SJ. <laughs> and I go, Steve. And he goes, Saul. <laughs> and so we're walking together down Fifth Avenue, right? And he goes, what the hell are you doing here? I said, oh, I'm doing the Leopard Tech Talk Tour. And I go, what are you doing here? He goes, oh, I'm in town. The wife's got me buying stuff. And it's like, it's so funny. And so we walk for a block and he goes, so how's the thing going? You know, we're talking and what do what you, you know, what do they like best? And I'm, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I said, so how's the holiday? And he's like, and so he's, he goes, I got to, I got to go in here. And he goes, stops at some shop and he goes, but will you do me a favor? Before you leave, will you drop by the Soho store? They need some love. <laughs> and, and I'm standing there. What Steve me. Steve's telling a joke. It's Steve telling a joke. <laughs> and I'm like blown away that Steve's telling a joke. Wow. And I start laughing. like Not known for his joking. No, but he was actually telling a joke. <laughs> they need some love. They need some love. Did you ever say, Steve, it's Sal? What do you mean? Did you ever correct oh, him? No, Katie Cotton did that. Katie said yeah, that. When I would Steve, get, that's not Saul. When Saul's I did the presentation Sal. for Automator at, the, at WWDC and I was yeah. on stage, I'm standing there rehearsing and it's, I'm standing and Steve's like leaning against the stage right here with Katie next to yeah. him. 